car situation. So if you're going to take these home to start them, you just put them in the ground where the green bits are sticking up. And if you're going to eat them, you take the green bits off, wash yeah. them, and put them up and roast them. It's anything you do with just a potato. Just like a potato. Just like a potato. It doesn't taste like a potato, but just like a potato. What's the potato? Uh, starch here. I don't know. You know it's more earthy. Yeah, like they're a little earthy. <laughs> they're kind of like, almost like between a jicama and a potato. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matthew here with Gary Davenport of the Mahoney County Land Bank. And we're out here at um, Taft Elementary across the street. And they had an event today planting some sunflowers. So tell me what you guys did. So we prepared a field out here and we put in sunflower tubers. And it's called a Jerusalem artichoke, but it's got nothing to do with Jerusalem and it's not an artichoke. Instead, uh, native sunflowers actually grow tubers and uh, these are big enough that you can eat them. And they taste kind of starchy. You can prepare them like potatoes, fry them, roast them, whatever. Uh, but if you put them in the ground, green side up, they grow. And they can get between 8 and 12 feet tall and they get dozens of flowers at the top that look like kind of like big black eyed Susans. Mm -hmm. um, they're they are not the big annual sunflower that you think of when you get a So anyways, they grow a couple years and then your entire yard where you have them planted is full of these tubers. And you dig them out and you can eat them. Okay. And so today people put these in the ground so we can establish sunflowers here. And we're also uh, giving them away to people and try to eat them. Okay, so do those actually have the sunflower seeds as well or those do not have the seeds like a regular sunflower? They make seeds, uh, but they're very tiny. They are not, they're not the big seeds seeds like you eat mm -hmm. they're very tiny little seeds again kind of like black eyed susan seeds they're they're very small black seeds okay but uh, no need to use seeds if you have the tubers available okay and you mentioned about the um uh know your neighbor a lot across the street from uh Har is that harding elementary it's the, yeah, I'm, I'm blanking right now. Yeah, on oh, Cordova. On side, Cordova. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had a message for uh, Miss Joyce? Yeah, so we have plenty of these available, and maybe we could start a trend of putting in sunflowers across the street from Youngstown City Schools. Uh, so if there's some space up at the site where we spoke with the children last year, Maybe we want to do a work day and put these in. I will say this though, it's got to be quick because if they don't go in the ground very soon, it's, it's going to be too late. They got to go in the ground by May. Okay, sounds good. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And as you guys can see, there's a lot in here. So yeah, thanks a lot, Gary. Appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. All right, what's up, y'all? It's Matt Woods with Team Woods, and we got Calandre, Earth to Shade Enterprises. We're out here. On the south side, across the street from Taft, uh, Taft Elementary. So what you guys do today? Today we put down another bed for some sunflowers. With the sunflowers that they call, they call Jerusalem artichokes. So I helped Gary from the Mahoney Land Bank in the gang apply another bed today. Okay. Again, everybody was pleased with the work. The whole team did well. So about how much uh, mulch or is that mulch? Is that considered yeah, mulch? Yeah, fresh mulch. It's fresh mulch that was, was installed there. Okay. At least like 16, probably close to like, uh, what is it? Maybe 10 yards. Okay. Yeah. So, it so, was fun. Everybody enjoyed their time. Sounds good. Yeah, so where did you bring the mulch from? Was it already here or you? where did you bring it from? It was already, it was dropped off here. All I had to do was just basically install it in the area we worked in. Okay. Yep. So I'll be coming back later on to do the watering process. All right, sounds good, sounds good. All right, thanks a lot. Get in touch with us, earthshadeenterprises.com. Thank you.